What's cooking in downtown Johnson City these days? Quite a lot, actually, and not just curry, calzones, chicken, and bratwurst. From new retail and service business openings to existing business investment, downtown has seen slow but steady growth over the fall and winter. And with Northeast State Community College planning an August start to classes in the downtown center, downtown business owners, both long established and new, seem enthusiastic about downtown's continued growth prospects. We've seen a lot of change in the dynamic downtown since we opened in uh, November 2007. We, um, we were one of few um, little boutiques. I, I definitely have seen some real solid growth downtown. Uh, Christmas was crazy busy, really awesome. If you go to Charleston or some other place, they're filled with boutiques and uh, right now we've got the mall and that's, and that's about it. So I try to work with people and I do a layaway. Have you seen a little bit of a momentum build in downtown? I think I have. I've seen, uh, I would not have guessed that a bead shop, for example, would thrive in a Main Street community that's a mere two, three blocks long. I wouldn't... Doucher may not have predicted a 24-hour gym thriving downtown either, but Energy Fitness is going strong and already bringing in more equipment after just six months at 212 East Main Street. I've spent a lot of time in this business and I knew, I know what people, what I think people want the most of and uh, I thought we could provide it. From newcomers like Eric Room to proprietors who've come downtown within the last five years to long timers like art gallery owner Dick Nelson, people are investing downtown. Carefully, but with an optimism that's fueled by things like Northeast's pending arrival and the success of regular events such as First Fridays and the Blue Plum Festival. Any First Friday brings me twice as much business as I would have in a normal day. I think that with Northeast State coming down here, I think that that will happen. I think just the influx of that many people being here will create that energy that it needs to push it over to fill all these spaces. There's going to need to be a place where students can walk to get coffee or walk to get Wi-Fi and make it a little cool, you know, a cool, real hip uh, coffee place where they can get food and sandwiches and stay up all night if they need to. Investment, events, and higher education all are contributing to downtown's transformation away from a heavy emphasis on bars and nightlife. Numerous restaurants are doing well and expanding the range of hours people less familiar with downtown's charms have been willing to spend there in the past. As long as all the restaurants are bringing in new clientele and you know pulling people off of the chain restaurants mostly at, on Rose Street and North Johnson City, you know, it can become a, a dining destination. And the clientele that was in this past Saturday night was, you know, an older clientele, a more affluent clientele than what you typically see in years past in downtown. Some keys to the future? The city's continued investment in infrastructure and quality of life amenities, such as Founders Park, five acres of former warehouse space slated for transformation in the second half of 2012, will be important. So will downtown's continued popularity as a place to live. And those people that live around here definitely walk the streets, you see more foot traffic. It's, it's, it's come a long way in, in four years, I feel. And I think that'll you know, be a huge boost to uh, downtown is where people can come to the park, enjoy themselves, and then come and have lunch or come and have dinner. And I think that uh, downtown has, Johnson City has you know, great uh, potential. I, I think that the value of downtown is highly underestimated right now. And in the next five years, um, people are going to be disappointed that they didn't get in sooner. So uh, for us, it's definitely a factor, and we hope to be a, a spark for that. To learn more about how to live, play, or invest downtown, call 423-202-3510 or visit www.thewcedc.com.